What's up YouTube, I'm Jack, this is Ja Reacts, and today y'all we got a real special video. Today we got Bone Thugs and Harmony and Easy e B and K. I don't know what that stands for, I'll probably find out later in the song. But yeah, I'm excited getting this one because especially Easy e is on this one. It has been quite a while since I've done a track from Easy e I can't remember the last one I did, but it's been at least a month or two, so it's about time. Love Easy e if y'all been following me uh, for a little while on the channel, y'all would know that this has an official video as well so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and check it out got the lyrics pulled up as well just in case let's get right into it though i don't mean to talk too long los angeles i wonder if easy e is gonna be in this video probably already passed i'm just using logic mm. Hey man, I'm already liking the beat. Mm. Hold up now. Let me turn this up. Gotta pause it, and I know we're about to get in the Crazy Bones verse, so I'm real hyped up for that, but look. Hey, I was not expecting this. This is what I needed. This is what I've been missing. I know uh, for all my Bone Thugs fans that are subscribed to me, y'all probably noticed that I've been taking not a break because I'm still doing them a lot. I, I still do Bone Thugs more than any other artist on the channel. But for a long while, I was doing them every day. Now I'm doing them every other day. And I think the reason for that is just the last few Bone tracks i done, they were good. And some of them were really good, but I wasn't getting the same feeling that I was getting when I first did them. Like when I first started doing Bone reactions and I was going through the, the East 99 album and the Creeping on a Come Up album, like for the first time, I never heard the tracks. That was just a magical feeling. Like I, I went back and reacted to some of my older reactions and saw how I felt when I did like Mo Murder for the first time. But y'all know how I feel about their newer stuff. I think they're just as talented, but I think the production and just sonically and their chemistry is not quite the same as it was when they first got into the game. And that's no diss to them, but that is my opinion. And I needed to take a little break, and I'm glad that I did this. This has that old bone thug sound, that gritty gangster shit, bro. And I'm so glad that Easy e was on this. He's just got that iconic voice. As soon as he came on, and it's not all about lyrics and lyrical miracles, spiritual shit. It's about how it sounds. It's the feeling that it evokes. This shit gave me chills. Like, I about had goosebumps when that beat came in. Whatever the sample is, bro, you got to give whoever produced this a raise. That sample is crazy, and Easy e did his thing. Easy e he just has that voice. You hear it, and it's just, like, makes your face scrunch up just off hearing his voice, bro. I'm going to run it back a few seconds. Let's get into Crazy Bones verse. Okay. I like how the beat went away. Wishbone. This definitely looks like a newer video. It's the quality of it. Mm. 
Okay, okay, wishbone. Okay, let me go ahead and pause it right here. Uh, this will probably be the last time I'll pause it and then I'll let it ride out. But uh, we're about halfway through and we just did Wishbone and Crazy Bone's verse. I want to give both them props. I actually think Crazy Bone did his thing as usual. Y'all know he's my favorite member, of course. I'm always going to love what Crazy Bone does. But I particularly want to give props to Wishbone because I think he's really shining on this. I still don't think he outshined Crazy Bone, but I think he did his thing. And to hold your own next to Crazy Bone, who's like one of my favorite rappers of all time at this point. Because of y'all, y'all really made him like in my top five. Got to give him his due respect. That being said, y'all, I think Easy e has my favorite verse so far. Really just because of the feeling. I mean, this is a first reaction. When I go back and listen to this after, I might be like, oh, no, you know, I like Crazy's the best or Wish is the best or whoever comes on after this. Easy es taking the cake for me right now. I also want to comment on this video real quick and then we get right back into it. I love the video. This is definitely a newer video. I say new. I don't mean like it came out last year, but this didn't come out in like the mid 90s. Clearly, this is a, a, a higher quality video. You can just look at the camera quality. Easy e obviously is not in this video. He probably passed a decade before this was made, but I like how it's said. It's like old Hollywood and like the 20s or 30s. Them just doing gangster shit. They got like the, the pimp, slit back hair and everything. Hey man, I'm loving it. I'm loving the overall vibe. Like I said, this has that old bone energy. It reminds me of something off of East 99 or Creeping on a Come Up. This literally sounds like it could be on one of those projects. Let's get back into it. I love that little harmonization. Bro, who made this beat? Oh, I can't say that enough. Sound like flesh and bone, I think. Mm. I heard lazy bone. Shout out NWA. Oh, this, this is my favorite verse. Mm. Bro. I love it. Bro, he just brought this track to a whole nother level. This is what I've been missing. This is what I've been missing. Yeah. Lacey won't have my favorite verse. Easy E second favorite. Crazy. Wish. Flesh and bone. Those are the order of my favorite verses. The shit was always already fire, but when Lazy Bone came on at the end, I like how they saved him for last. That shit was just on another level. It cut off right there, by the way. Whole track was just incredible. Again, I cannot express this enough. This is what I've been missing. I want to do some more bone stuff like this, if there are any. I think the last track I did from them was Home uh, with Phil Collins, which I know a lot of y'all love that track. I liked it okay, but that sound, and I've done a, a good bit of other tracks with that similar sound, like the early 2000s bone, whatever that era is, they did have some fire tracks, but overall, I really just don't like that era from them. And that's just me being honest. I'm not gonna sit up here and just lie and say I love everything from them. Just to agree with y'all so I don't have any confrontation. You know, I don't care, I'm gonna keep it real. Whether I get dislikes or people wanna unsubscribe, I understand, but 
That's how I feel. I love their older stuff. I like some of their newer recent stuff. I feel like when they did some of their solo projects, like I did some newer Crazy Bone and Busy Bone tracks, they kind of stepped it up a notch. That was refreshing. But this right here, though, is like bone in their bag. I cannot say that enough. Just the production, incredible. Their flows, incredible. What they're talking about, that classic gangster bone shit, incredible. And they don't always have to talk about the same topics. I've done bone tracks where they're saying where they're talking about really deep, impactful stuff, such as Crossroads, such as, uh, I forget the exact wording, but Change the World. That was uh, one of my favorite tracks I've done on the channel. They don't have to always be talking about gangster shit, but I like it when I hear a Bone track and I feel like only Bone could do that, or it's unique to Bone. I don't feel like, yeah, any rapper from the early 2000s could have done this track that I just reacted to, but no one... I think could do this besides Easy E and he was on this. Shout out to Easy E by the way, rest in peace. He killed this. I do actually have one critique for this track. Sounded great, verses were great, but I think the vocals should have been mixed better. Especially when it came to Flesh and Bones verse, I was having a really hard time hearing his lyrics. I know that's Flesh and Bones style just in general, uh, just the way his voice is. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to sound like when it, when it switched over to Lazy Bones, Lazy Bone has a really prominent, confident voice. You can you can hear it really well. But just in general, even Easy es verse a little bit, it was a little too low in volume. The beat was a little bit too overpowering. And the instrumental was great, but I, I wish I could have heard their voices a little bit better. That being said, everything else was 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I had so much fun with this one, y'all. If y'all know of any more tracks with this sound, this style, whether it's old or new, I just want this kind of energy. Recommend them in the comments below. I'll for sure get to them. That being said, that's all I got to say about this one, y'all. And on that note, if y'all like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already, and comment your requests down below. I will get to them as soon as possible. If you'd like to further support me, you can check out my Patreon link in bio. Your support means the world. I cannot express it enough. But y'all have a blessed day, blessed night, whatever part of the world you're watching this in, and peace.